Sometimes I feel like I should make less negative content, but TikTok is not sending me its best and brightest. And today, I came across something so bewilderingly dumb, I just had to go over it with you. Autism is a big topic online. It's in vogue, one may say. Here we have a particular flavor of autism, one of the tastiest flavors, which apparently is called PDA. That does not stand for public display of affection. It stands for pathological demand avoidance. Hey, can you do the dishes for me? Nope, not anymore. No, 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 don't stop. I didn't know that you were already doing them. It's too late. You ruined it. I'm, I'm not doing them anymore. You're so defiant. Every time I tell you to do something, you freak out. PDA autism often looks like defiance from the outside perspective, but it's actually a persistent drive for autonomy, like me feeling like I need to be in control of my own body. What does that mean? Basically, we feel like we need to be in control of our bodies, and when something threatens our autonomy, it causes us to go into a fight or flight response, and it might look like defiance from an outside perspective, but it's an uncontrollable like body instinct. So me demanding you to do the dishes disrupted your nervous system and caused this like defiant behavior? Yeah, it has nothing to do about the chore. Like, as you can tell, I was doing the dishes. I have no problem doing them. It's more so my brain thinking that you're taking choices away from me and it's reacting. In the future, how should I ask you to like do the dishes then? It would be great if you could give me choices. That way I feel like I'm still in control. Like you could say something along the lines of like, hey, can you do the dishes for me? Do you want to do them now or in a half an hour? You know, it's something like that. Oh, okay. I just need to give you options instead of like demanding things. Options. Okay. I think I can do that. Here's some options. The dishes are really dirty. You can either do the dishes or you can fucking leave. <gasps> Uh, this is not, no, this is not a, a, a disorder. This is just called being an asshole. If you cohabitate with people, there are some responsibilities you, you're gonna have. And on top of those responsibilities, you have the greater responsibility of having to communicate with those other people or person about who is gonna do what when. You could say this is a disorder, but it's not a disorder in the same sense as we think of disorders now. This is a disorder that just needs to be erased. Just because something is a mental issue doesn't mean people need to accommodate you for that. Some things, it is healthy when people accommodate for certain mental issues. This is not a mental issue that should be given the power to control your life, let alone the lives of the people around you. That's just called being selfish. Like, look at the, the level of bitterness and disrespect that you exhibited just in your hypothetical illustration of this, of this issue. Hey, can you do the dishes for me? Nope, not anymore. It's too late, you ruined it, I'm, I'm not doing them anymore. I think a lot of people have become extremely allergic to just doing something that makes them mildly uncomfortable. Me being angry all the time because it feels like my time isn't my time. Here's what I think is a good metric. If you don't feel like it's right for you to just tell the person no, then just do it. If you're not comfortable saying no, then you need to learn to respect your own time and learn to say no, or you're being selfish. Those are the only two options. Either way, it's on you. It is not uncontrollable. Once you realize this, you work on yourself until you are past this blockage. To which the creator responds, it's not a personal flaw that I have to overcome. It's a disability and it's how my brain is wired. I put in so much work behind the scenes so this behavior isn't seen as problematic. I still need help. If you really, really, really want to make the case that that is your reality, fine, but you need to live alone and not be in a relationship until that changes because it's just not gonna be fair to anybody in your life. Just gonna make a little editor's note there. By saying that, I'm not saying that I'm banning you from having a relationship, that you're not allowed to have a relationship. I'm saying, I think this is probably gonna cause some pretty large issues in any relationship you do try to have, and it's going to make people upset at you if they have to deal with your bullshit on a regular basis. 
uh, nor do I think that I am the expert on relationships. I think I have a lot of issues myself when it comes to relationships. This particular issue with you, however, I think to the average person is pretty obvious that you're in the wrong, so I'm going to laugh at it. Pathological demand avoidance is not a real thing. It's a made-up excuse that people use when they don't want to do something. You miss the fact that it's part of autism. And autism is a developmental disability, and it does prevent us from doing things. It's not an excuse, but it is an explanation. Well, you need to suck it up. Everyone does stuff that they don't want to do. You can't claim PDA because you don't want to do something. You're right. It's not an excuse. It's an explanation. When something triggers my PDA, it makes my entire nervous system and my body freak out. Your nervous system? 911, what's your emergency? My daughter's having a seizure because I asked her to fucking clean the bathroom. And autistic people can't regulate their nervous system and their emotions the same way that autistic people can. So when this happens, I might freak out or cry or curl up into a ball. And it's out of my control. It's my bodily instinct. Morgan, if you see this, I'm begging you. Can you please have a ring camera in your kitchen or something because I want to see the video of you curling up into a ball and crying after being told to do the dishes. That would be the best content I have ever seen. Please just think about it. There's no way you're autistic. We would have noticed when you were a kid. Mom, I don't like the way the jeans feel on my body. They're really like tight and they rub and then they make that swishy sound. Please don't make me wear them. George. George, our daughter doesn't like jeans. She's autistic. Morgan, what do you want for lunch? Um, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Again? Yeah, of course. That's my designated lunch food. Every day I want to have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. George, our, our child only wants to eat peanut flavored sugar sandwiched between two pieces of Wonder Bread. She's autistic, George, no. What have we done? I told you not to vaccinate her, George. For legal reasons, that's a joke. For legal reasons, that's a joke. Hi, Morgan. It's so nice to meet you. Morgan, you have to answer people when they talk to you. George, our child is shy! He has the autism. 170,000 subscribers. Damn. I need to get a diagnosis. This, this is so highly monetizable right now. On second thought, you know what I need to do? I need to invent my own. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions for a mental disorder I can give myself so that I can then make content about how hard my life is, please let me know. Uh, I'm auditioning mental disorders right now. If you have a mental disorder, which is fine, nothing wrong with that, so we're clear, and you've made content around it to the point that your mental disorder is now your income source, have you not given that disorder exponentially more power over your life? That's a legitimate question. I'm not knocking anybody who makes content around me mental disorder as, a, as an idea, as a principle. Nor am I saying that this person doesn't have autism. I don't fucking know this person's life. They may have autism. I don't know. I don't care. But the point is, it seems like autism has become such a source of identity for this person that literally everything is autism. And also, by her logic, literally everyone I know has autism. Did you hear that, boys? You're autistic. You're fucking autistic.